Hi, welcome to Intimath. This is grade 10, lesson 2. We're talking about a quadratic function and its graph, the parabola. Consider the function y equals x squared. y equals x squared is a quadratic function. In order to graph this function, we, we, we can always create a table of values, x and y. And then, when you plot those ordered pairs on a Cartesian plane and connect, forming a curve, you get a graph that looks like this, and it's called a parabola. Let's look at the main features of the parabola. So, for the function y equals x squared, the quadratic function, the domain is all real numbers, x, e, r, which means that the parabola extends indefinitely to the right and to the left. The range is y is greater or, or equal to zero, right here. The parabola in this case does not exist below that point, and it passes through the origin, zero, zero. The graph of the function is a parabola which is symmetrical about the y-axis, because negative x squared equals x squared. Even if you square a negative number, you'll still get a positive value. So for positive one and for negative one, the corresponding y value is the same. Y-axis is the axis of symmetry in this case. And uh, the point of intersection of the axis of symmetry and the graph is the vertex of the parabola right here. The coordinates of the vertex are h, k, and um, for this parabola, we have a minimum point. So, when we consider the function y equals 2x squared and uh, graph it using the table of values, if we compare the two functions and their graphs, the y equals x squared and y equals 2x squared, we can see that when the leading coefficient is 2, then the corresponding y values for the same x values are double the original. The quadratic function could have a form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the standard form of a quadratic function. A cannot equal to 0, B and C are just numbers. The function of the form y equals ax minus h squared plus k is a function in the vertex form. The graph of this function is a parabola with the vertex h, k. If A is greater than 0, whether it's in this form or in that form, if it's greater than 0, if it's a positive number, then the parabola opens up. And if a is a negative number, then the parabola opens down. The axis of symmetry is parallel to the y-axis and passes through x equals h. So the h value of the vertex determines the axis of symmetry. Sometimes, in order to convert from standard to vertex form, we need to do a special process, it's called completing the square. So say we have a standard form of the equation, 3x squared minus 12x plus 8, and we want to convert it into the vertex form. The first step is to divide both terms first and second by the leading coefficient. The constant does not change. So once you common factor the leading coefficient, out of the first two terms, you'll get 3, and then in brackets, x squared minus 4x. Then, within the bracket, you need to complete the square, which means you need to create a perfect square trinomial. So, x squared remains the same. Negative 4, then, has to be split in half. So, negative 2 times 2x, and then squared negative 2 or 2 squared is positive 4, and then added and subtracted at the same time. Since, since you're just bringing it in from nowhere, you need to balance this. Then 
negative 4 still has to be multiplied by 3 that's in front of the whole expression and that's where you get the negative 12 from. Now this part here factors into x minus 2 squared. If you were to FOIL x minus 2 squared, right, multiplied by itself, you would end up with a perfect square trinomial like this. Now these two can now be uh, added, negative 12 plus 8 will give you negative 4. So the vertex in this case is the opposite sign of what you see inside the bracket, 2 and negative 4. This is the H and this is the K. The axis of symmetry is located at X equals 2. In order to determine the X and Y intercepts, we need to uh, substitute 0 for the opposite uh, value. So if we're solving for the X intercept, we're subbing in 0 for Y. And if we're solving for the Y intercept, we're subbing in 0 for X. In order to determine the max and min points, we look at the function values. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c has a maximum value of y max equals k if a is greater than 0, or a minimum value of y minimum equals k if a is less than 0, at h equals negative b over 2a. So you will uh, find the k and you will find the h. The value of k is called the optimal value, max or min. The vertex at max or min has the coordinates of h, k. Now let's see how we can put it all together. Given the quadratic function y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 4, state the vertex form equation of the function, determine the coordinates of the max min point of the function, and determine the x and y intercepts. Sketch the graph of the function. So in order for us to state the vertex form of the equation, we need to complete the square. So number one. Let's complete the square. y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. y equals, first I'm going to common factor the negative 1 out of the first two terms. Negative 1, x squared minus 4x. The constant remains the same for now. Next y equals, now I'm completing the square inside the bracket, negative 1, negative 4 has to be divided by 2, negative 2 times 2x, and then square of it should be added. and subtract it. And then negative four stays outside. Y equals negative one. Then inside the bracket, we end up with um, a perfect square trinomial, this part here, of X minus two squared and then this negative 1 has to still be multiplied by this. So negative 2 squared is 4, but then we still have a negative in front of it. And then times negative 1 is positive 4. So plus 4 minus 4. y equals negative 1 x minus 2 squared and then this gives us zero, so it's not there. We're not writing plus zero. Now, um, we need to state the vertex uh, and the coordinates of max and min or min point of this function. So the vertex 
would be at the opposite sign of H, which will give us 2, and then K, which in this case is 0, 2, 0. Then uh, we need to establish if it's a max or a min. The A value is negative 1, it's less than 0. It means that the parabola opens down, so it looks like this with a maximum and the maximum is at zero um, next determine the x and y intercepts so let's continue with that the x intercept is when we replace y with a zero and we can do that with the vertex form sometimes it's much faster to do it using the vertex form um, and we have x minus 2 squared so then we divide by negative 1 on both sides um, and then we get 0 equals x minus 2 squared now we're gonna square root both sides and we get 0 equals x minus 2 x equals 2 now let's do the y-intercept where we substitute 0 for x y equals negative 1 0 minus 2 squared y equals negative 1 times 4 y equals negative 4 so the point uh, the x-intercept has the coordinates of 2 0 and then the y-intercept has the coordinates of 0 negative 4 and now using all of this information we need to sketch the graph so here is the graph uh, of this function and that's exactly what we got. We got the vertex at 2, 0. We got the x-intercept at 2, 0. And we had the y-intercept at 0, negative 4. The x, um, the axis of symmetry is at x equals 2. And the optimal value is at 0, because that's the maximum. The parabola opens down because the a value is negative. This is it for today and I encourage you to continue with the next lesson.